Imagine a time when wolves roamed the earth in packs larger and fiercer than anything we've ever seen today. We turn now to that remarkable scientific breakthrough. 13,000 years after the last dire wolf walked the earth, scientists say they've now brought them back. Now, what if I told you those very creatures, the dire wolves, are making their return after being gone for over 13,000 years? Stick with us as we dive into this groundbreaking journey and explore how science is bringing the legendary dire wolf back to life. Dire wolves were once the apex predators of the Ice Age. With their massive size, powerful jaws, and a terrifying presence, they dominated the landscape from North America to South America. But 13,000 years ago, they mysteriously disappeared, leaving behind only bones and a legacy in the ancient myths of Native American cultures. But why did they go extinct? Was it climate change, human hunting, or something else? Today, we can only speculate about the reasons behind their extinction. However, scientists believe a combination of environmental changes and the arrival of humans, who hunted them and their prey, led to their disappearance. But what if we could bring them back? Now, before we dive into the groundbreaking science behind de-extinction, let's take a moment to appreciate how these ancient creatures have captivated our imaginations for generations. One of the most powerful examples of this can be found in pop culture specifically in the globally acclaimed series, Game of Thrones. If you've ever watched the show or read the books, you're probably familiar with the legendary dire wolves that served as the loyal companions to the Stark children. From Jon Snow's ghostly white wolf named Ghost to Arya's fierce and independent Nymeria, each dire wolf was more than just a pet. They were symbols of strength, loyalty, survival, and the deep bond between man and beast. These dire wolves didn't just add flair to the story, they carried emotional weight and symbolic meaning throughout the series. Ghost, for instance, stayed by Jon Snow's side through thick and thin, embodying his solitude and resilience. Nymeria, on the other hand, mirrored Arya's wild spirit and independent path. Each dire wolf was uniquely tied to the identity and fate of its stark counterpart, making them unforgettable elements of the narrative. While the dire wolves of Game of Thrones are fictionalized versions, larger and more mystical than anything found in the fossil record, they were directly inspired by real creatures that once walked the earth. The real dire wolves, known scientifically as Enochion Dyrus, were apex predators that lived tens of thousands of years ago during the Pleistocene epoch. These creatures were larger and more muscular than today's gray wolves, with powerful jaws and a fearsome presence that earned them their legendary name. They roamed across North and South America in packs, hunting massive prey like bison and even young mammoths. So in a way, the dire wolves of Westeros are a modern day homage to these extinct predators. Reimagined through the lens of fantasy, yet rooted in the awe-inspiring reality of natural history, the fact that they've been brought to life on screen speaks volumes about how fascinated we are by what once was and how deeply ancient creatures continue to spark curiosity emotion, and wonder in our modern world. They bridge the gap between history and myth, reminding us that the past is never truly gone. It lives on in our stories, our imagination, and now perhaps in our science. And that brings us to a remarkable turning point in human history. What if the dire wolf, along with other extinct animals, didn't have to remain confined to fossils, illustrations, or fantasy dramas? What if, through advances in genetic engineering and biotechnology, we could actually bring them back. Let's explore the incredible science of de-extinction. Enter the world of de-extinction, a cutting edge science that aims to bring extinct species back to life. And one company leading the charge in this is Colossal Biosciences. They've been working tirelessly to make the impossible possible, and the dire wolf is on their radar. Through advanced genetic engineering, Colossal is using a technique known as CRISPR a gene editing technology that can edit the DNA of living organisms. They're focusing on the resurgence of the woolly mammoth, but the dire wolf is part of this ambitious plan. By extracting DNA from well-preserved remains found in the icy permafrost, these scientists are able to reverse engineer these ancient creatures. Inspired by groundbreaking efforts in genetic engineering, the first two dire wolves whose births were facilitated by this revolutionary project were named Romulus and Ramus. These births took place at a secret location in America where cutting-edge science met ancient history. 
In this video, you can see them sitting in the sun, carefree and playful, inside a barn. At just five months old, these cubs don't yet know how extraordinary they truly are. They were born into a world where no other member of their species had existed for over 13,000 years. Alongside Romulus and Ramus, there's a third dire wolf, a female named Khaleesi, a nod to the fierce and legendary wolves of Game of Thrones. Everything seems so incredible when you hear about it. The return of these majestic creatures brought back from the brink of extinction, a living testament to the power of modern science and the mysteries of the ancient world. But even with groundbreaking technology, bringing a species like the dire wolf back from extinction isn't as simple as it sounds. First, scientists need to gather usable DNA. Unfortunately, the quality of DNA from ancient remains is often fragmented, and with dire wolves, the task is even harder because their fossils are rare. Moreover, there's the ethical dilemma. Should we really bring back an extinct species? And if we do, how will they fit into the ecosystem? Can they be integrated into today's world? These are questions that need to be answered before any of these creatures can roam the Earth again. So what happens if we succeed? Reintroducing the dire wolf could have a profound impact on our ecosystems. Wolves, and particularly dire wolves, are keystone species. They play a critical role in balancing the environment by regulating prey populations and maintaining healthy biodiversity. Think about it. If dire wolves were reintroduced into modern habitats, they could help restore balance to the ecosystems where they once thrived. They would be natural predators of animals like deer, which have grown out of control in some areas. The ripple effect on plant life, smaller animals, and even the climate could be massive. The return of the dire wolf is still a long way off, but with the rapid advancements in genetic engineering and cloning technology, the dream of de-extinction could become a reality sooner than we think. Colossal Biosciences, alongside other teams, are working on bringing back several species that have been lost to time, including the mammoth dodo bird and the Tasmanian tiger. And with every breakthrough they make, the chances of seeing the dire wolf in the wild again grow ever closer. As we wrap up today's journey into the past and the future, remember that the return of the dire wolf is not just a scientific curiosity, it's a testament to the power of innovation and the desire to restore what was lost. Will they return? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, if they do, the world will never be the same. Thanks for joining us on this exhilarating discovery. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of the dire wolf and the cutting edge science behind it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to Exhilarating Discoveries, and ring the bell so you never miss an adventure. Until next time, keep exploring.